is the, the best dessert I ever had. But then I remember that I could eat this as dinner. Crispy, cheesy, gooey. It's like going to heaven. Normally, knefa made either with ricotta cheese or the mozzarella cheese. I make one knefa that have both ingredients, Ali style. It came a time that people at the factory where I worked, uh, they were all like married people, but alone here. So these guys didn't know how to make anything. And they see me eating, uh, where do you get this from? So I cooked it, they taste it, they love it. Cook it a little extra, we'll pay you. You know, and I start doing that. Not to sell it, they just pay for the ingredient. You know, the shredded filo. Keep it covered till you need to use it because it dries quick. Loosen it up a little bit. That feels like hair, but it's like uh, hasn't been washed in a while. <laughs> Actually, it's originated in uh, Palestine and Israel. I have people that came from that region, and they say I make it better than them. When they go back to Israel, they're gonna tell them, I had to go all the way to Ali's in New York, in Bushwick, to get the best knaf. Now we're ready, the filo is all nice and fluffy. I melted some unsalted butter, pour it all over. Get all the butter that you can. Make sure the butter went to every part. Now you take it, make sure it's all covered. Because you don't want the cheese to melt through. I've worked construction, I've worked in factories. The only way to make food is to make them perfect. Otherwise, don't make them. Get out of the kitchen. I came here 40 years ago with a shirt on my back. I always wanted to be in my own business, but I enjoy cooking for people, and I could do this probably forever. Now we have our canafa, it's all cooked and ready. And this is pistachio nuts. You get some sugar syrup that we made earlier. It looks so gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But this is, I think it's a masterpiece. Oh, we're not gonna have any left. Okay, get, get out of here. No way. No way. <laughs>